Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Programming with a Purpose. In this video, I am going to show you how to display a tabbed view inside Swift UI and also I am going to show you how to create charts using Swift UI and show the workout data in it. So let's get started. Here I am adding another variable to my struct workout which is with the name weekday and of type date. Here I am setting a default initializer for the workout items because it is going to be a shared variable among two views. So I want it to be initialized with a default initializer so I can basically use its variable value without creating it again and again. So here we have created a new view and we have imported a framework charts which will help us to create graphs. We have created a VStack that is going to contain two of the graphs. One is for the workout distance in miles and another is basically the calories burned during the workout. For the x-axis I have kept the days and for the y-axis I have kept the distance and calories respectively. And you can see that I have created a, a variable where items workout items which will basically be my class and i'm going to access its weekday distance and calories uh, variable
so you have seen that i have fixed one of the error and we need to add the weekday parameter inside all the calls to the workout struct initializer and then i am going to update the health kit app abstract which is basically was previously calling just one view which was the content view and now since it is going to be a tabbed view it is going to create two of the tab items one is the content view the default and another one is the line graph view and we have added the respective images and text with the name of workouts and progress So let's make some of the changes to content view and then try running the code. So you have seen that the view is not set properly. Basically both the list and the tab views are merged. This is due to uh, a uh, keyword that I'm missing inside my healthcare tab abstract. So I've added it with the name of tab view and now see everything is arranged properly. So you have seen that inside my first of the tab workouts the image uh, the spawner image at the bottom of the screen is not visible this is due to a mistake inside the system name that i've made so it's always good to copy the uh, system name objects from the sf image collection that i've shown you how to basically use it is always healthy to copy it from there so that no mistake is done and we always get the precise image that we want to show onto our screens So guys this is all for this video i've shown you how to display charts using any of the data so i have used here the workout data i hope you're liking the content of this channel stay tuned and kindly do not forget to subscribe this channel take good care of yourself have a happy week goodbye